Welcome to another CCTV setup guide from Secure Account. Today we're going to be looking at how to set the icon on the app on your smartphone. The products we'll be using today are a DVR box, a small bullet camera, a monitor, and live CCTV viewing application for iOS and Android smartphones. So we're going to take a look at setting up your CCTV system on an Android device. Uh, you can also set it up on an Apple as well, um, but we're going to do Android today. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure your DVR box is connected to uh, an Ethernet cable directly to your router. Um, and once you've done that, there's a couple of options on the screen just to ensure that that's correct. So you just have the main menu icon at the top, uh, system and network, and you just need to make sure that DHCP has been enabled. Uh, once that's been checked, hit OK, cancel and cancel. And we're good to start downloading the Android app. So, first thing you need to do is right click on the screen, head to guide, and it'll give you a bit of information on setup wizard. So we'll hit next, and next again. It'll make sure everything says OK, make sure it's connected to the internet, and then hit next again. So you get two QR codes, so you've got one for iPhone and one for Android, and as we said earlier, we're going to be using the Android device. Just need to make sure you've got a QR reader app installed on your phone. So what you need to do is go into the app, pop it over your right QR codes, and it will prompt you with a URL address. So just hit OK. And it'll download the file, so hit OK again. Um, OK. Uh, we already downloaded this one, so we're just going to hit Replace File there. So once your app's downloaded, uh, you just hit the uh, Download icon, and it will take you through. Now, you may get this um, warning. Um, because it's not been downloaded through the Google Store, um, it, it knows it's an untrusted um, app, um, so if you, you can hit settings, just take your way through and just accept that it's okay. It'll take you back to the app. A uh, few details to read, a few privacy details, um, what the device needs to access the app. So take a nice read through those and hit install. Take a couple of seconds to, to install onto your device. And, uh, and there we go, it's all on. So if we hit the open icon to the bottom just here, what we're going to be doing is setting up a local connection. Um, because we're, we're, we're attached to it, so we can hit skip unless you want to read through the details, um, a quick tutorial guide. Um, we're going to get a local login, so it's the bottom left just there. Now on the screen, if you hit the next icon, it'll take you to another QR code. So this will just save you a bit of time putting in IP addresses and domain names automatically. So if you hit the plus icon in the top corner, this will connect us and give us a new, um, a new device. So you've got three options just here. So we need a device name, we'll do that just after. And then you've got serial number, IP, or domain name. So if you hit the QR code button just to the right-hand side, scan the QR on the screen. And it'll come up with a domain name just on the screen there for you. We're going to name this device just a demo, just for use. And the next option um, is optional, so you don't need to pop anything in there and hit OK. Uh, what you'll see is a demo, so that'll be your live feed from your camera system. Select the camera that you want to do, so you've got up to eight cameras on this, uh, but we're just going to use one, and you should see your device on your screen. You can then just click Next, it'll say thank you for choosing, and then exit the device. 